Aiden Hutchinson just <laughs> had a very gruesome injury, broken leg. They had obviously hopes and dreams and desires to be a Super Bowl team this year after the season they had last year. Where do y'all see the Lions season going without Aiden Hutchinson? Uh, I mean, you know, looking at them, I think they're still such a deep football team. They're gonna be they're gonna be able to, you know, write their ticket and get to the playoffs, obviously, and still make a run in the playoffs. The NFC is all wide open, man. I mean, even with the injury, is it's obviously significant. He was a sack leader before he went down. Um, and so that's a significant blow for the team. But I still think that they're gonna be able to pressure the quarterback. You know, they have a great offensive line, they can keep their defense off the field by running the football. They're going to make a trade for a depth piece on the D-line. They'll do that. They'll add somebody. It won't be Max Crosby, which is just asinine, and I don't know why people are even talking about that, even though they should trade Max Crosby. But that weird haircut guy up up in uh, over in Vegas won't do that. Uh, so, yeah, man, I mean, I, I think they're going to be able to compete, you know, and, and hold their water for, for a while. Uh, even with the injury, they're going to be dominant. Uh, as well, because again, the offensive line is dominant. They protect the quarterback. They run the football football well. They stop the run, and they've been able to rush the passer. That might take a bit of a hit, but I think they'll make a trade. They have the assets to go out there and make a move. And um, as long as someone wants to be a willing trade partner with the Lions, and it's something in it for them, they can go get a tier like a, a lower tier defensive end to come in and just add to a rotation. Um, but it won't be a superstar. So they're going to be just fine. I mean, they're a really good football team, top to bottom. They're talented. If not now, then when for the Lions? You know what I mean? you got to get it done regardless. This is not an excuse um, for them. And, and this is it. This is it for them, honestly. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But I, I, I think they're going to be just fine, even with the in 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 injury uh, moving forward. Yeah. I mean, this team is is really like an old school. They want to run it first. I mean, that's how they started every game. They run it with David Montgomery. They got Gibbs, so the thunder and lightning right there, and that kind of carries this team. And you sprinkle in a little Jared Goff, who he shows that he can be a really good quarterback in this league sometimes. It's crazy. But um, the Aiden Hutchinson blow, that's that's huge for this team. I mean, he was on his way to possibly being one of the uh, front runners for – Defensive player of the year. I mean, lead leading the league in sacks. He was looking really good. Like he was breaking out this year. This was his breakout year. So to lose a guy like that, where I think he had seven and a half sacks, and the next guy doesn't. It's like two two sacks. So it's hard to replace a guy with that type of impact, and you know who commands that much attention on defense. So they they're gonna have to get creative, whether that's by trade. I mean, I saw that they reached out to the Jets on Hassan Reddick, which that's probably just due diligence to see, like, oh, what would it take for us to get him on the cheap? Because I don't think anybody's trying to give up too much for him. Um, but they need to bring in somebody who can do half of what Aiden Hutchinson was able to do because that's going to put more pressure on their, their D-backs to really lock in. And Terion Arnold... I mean, he was their first-round pick this year, and he hasn't been as good as they thought he'd be. It's early, but he's not as good as he thought they thought he would be. Uh, Brian Branch, though, that, that kid is really good. Uh, he's like the honey badger for them. So they, they do have pieces on that defense to kind of hold them over, but they're definitely going to have to make a move. I mean, I know the deadline's coming up soon, so uh, watch out for a, a – a trade. They might make a, a big one, a splash.